Hello, my name is Steve Van Vliet. I'm the Regional Extension Specialist in Ag and Natural Resources for Washington State University. Today I want to talk to you about plant and weed identification. The first and most important part when you're wanting to identify a weed is to first get a picture of that weed or plant. So you get a picture from multiple different angles to be able to determine those characteristics of that plant. Then after you have your photograph, you need to record information about the characteristics. You need to record the date, what kind of habitat it's in, all those different characteristics that you observe in the field. The picture is very good to have, but you do want to collect that plant. So you want to be able to collect the plant and take that plant sample, roots, stems, leaves, seeds, all of the plant that you can, and take that plant back to your laboratory so that you can put it in the plant press and identify it. Before you start to identify the plant you have collected, it's important to first narrow down the possible plants it could be. First, figure out what category the plant belongs to. Is that plant a tree? Is it a succulent herb, a shrub, a fern, a grass, a type of broadleaf plant? And then once you have identified the plant's category, the next step is to group those plants that have characteristics similar to your plant and eliminate the ones that do not. One way to do this is the use of manual or field guides to identify that weed or plant by its flower color. Once you get it narrowed down to the family, you can determine what family that weed or plant belongs to. You might want to also try using a digital resource, such as 1200 Weeds of the 48 States and Adjacent Canada, DVD. Another way of identifying the plants is the use of what's called a dichotomous key. The dichotomous key gives you choices about a plant's characteristics that leads to that plant's identity. For example, dichotomous key might ask whether the leaves of your plant are opposite on the stem. Depending on this answer, the key directs you to another question about another characteristic of the plant. And as you follow the thread of all the characteristics, you'll reach the plant's identification in the end. However, the most efficient and accurate way to identify a plant is to actually take the sample of plant, which includes the leaves, the stem, the roots if possible, the seeds also if possible, to a trained specialist in plant identification. And if possible, make sure you can take the pictures along with that and any notes that you've taken about the characteristics of that plant to that specialist.